Review. Uh. Uh, we talked about the space, okay, which normally characterized by the dimension of a space, like uh, the width and the height and the length, and so on. But we found that. In acoustics, space has a meaning when it is compared with the wavelengths. So for example, when we have certain space that has the volume V, and if that is much, much larger than wavelengths, we call that this space is acoustically large space. And in this case, waves travels in the space. Along the distance that is very far, very, very much, much longer than the wavelengths. Therefore, as a result, the acoustic energy in this space is independent of the position where we measure. And that we call diffuse field. So if you can roughly draw How much sound is decayed with respect to, for example, length or distance from the source? The fuse field means that it is constant. Okay. Sound energy is constant. This is diffuse field. On the other hand, the other extreme case is when we have, for example, monopole source that is located in the space that does not have any walls. In other words, no reflection. In other words, it is located in a free field. In this case, it decays 6 dB per octave doubling the uh, distance. In, in other words, if, I, if the distance is doubled, then sound energy we can measure is 6 dB down to satisfy the conservation of energy. Right? And in between, we can say that there is a sound field the sound energy is no longer constant as the diffuse field indicates, or does not have the trend of 6 dB down per doubling the uh, distance, but it is uh, fluctuating. And this we call reverberant. And this is a free field. Therefore, it is quite easy to, to whether or not, I mean, to see whether or not this is diffuse field or reverberant field or free field by just measuring the sound at any point. Okay, and plot it, and if it is constant, then we can call it diffuse field. And if it is 6 dB per doubling distance, then we call it free field. Okay? And the Sabin's the theory actually works. in this diffuse field. And assuming that the uh, general uh, characteristics of a diffuse field is quite 
similar with what we can observe in reverberant field, then we can argue that certainly reverberation period indicates, I mean, demonstrate the character, primary characteristics of room. Okay? So extending this idea to some room that has war impedance surrounded by the war and which has a different war impedance. And suppose I put some monopole sound source over here that generate the sound, for example, A, E to the J, omega T, R, R is the uh, distance from the source. And then instantly what happens is there's a reflection, so on, so on. Then suddenly we will have a diffuse field. But we can argue that when we hear very close to the sound source, we normally hear direct sound, I mean more direct sound than the sound coming from the word that I call reverberant sound field. So depending on the position from the source, the degree of participation of a reverberation effect would be different. Closer to the source, we will have more contribution from direct sound field. If we, if we, if we, if we move on to the war, then we might hear all the uh, reverberation sound. Okay? So that motivates us to define radius of reverberation. And that is in detail explained in the text. And I suggest to you to read it. And the concept of radius of reverberation is briefly explained, right? So if the radius of reverberation is large, that means we have more effect of re reverberation, right? So that can be also experimented by yourself in a bathtub. For instance, when you, oh, your dormitory does not have a bathtub, right? You do? But then, then you, can, you can bring some small uh, vessel, maybe you use for washing your hand, for example, and you can do the similar experiment. For example, over here. You excite the water, then you can see the wave is generated. But when you see it, by in the vicinity of your finger, which you are exciting the wave, you can only see the propagating wave. Right? But if you see the war, then you will see what? This kind of wave. Back and forth. Right? You don't believe it? Here. Why don't you come on and see and explain to your, your friends that what I explained is correct. <laughs> <laughs>